This time last year, I followed a makeup tutorial and got my passport photo to look like this. That is the best passport photo I've ever had after years of disastrous passport photos. So I'm going to recreate it today and show you what makeup you need to do to get yourself a beautiful passport photo. And I'll show you the retaken passport photos at the end. So make sure you watch this whole video. Let's get into it. So you want to get a really strong brow gel. I really like the e.l.f. brow lift, but any brow gel will do. We want to get an eyebrow brush and we want to run the brow gel through our brows for that spiky brow look. Next I'm going to apply a full coverage eye base to my upper eyelids, making sure that I carve out the eyebrows as well. We're going to set the eyelids with some pressed powder. Then we're going to grab a cream bronzer and place it towards the outer third of the eye in an upward direction. Do you see how much more lifted my eyes look? Almost like scarily so. Remember this only has to look good in the picture. We're going to take a black liquid liner with a small tip and just do a tiny wing at the edge of our eyes. We also want to do some corner liner which can be very tricky which is why I like to do it at the beginning so that you can tidy it up if it goes wrong. To finish off this eye look I'm going to put some of this glitter on the eyelid. I'm using a primer that tacky in order to keep the makeup on my face. In my last video, which was about doing no makeup makeup, go check that out if you haven't already, it was a lot about precise colour correcting and concealing. For this, we're not concerned about people knowing that we're wearing makeup, we're trying to look good in the picture. So we're just going to go in with a full coverage foundation which just provides a whole new skin for us. This one is the MAC Studio Fix. So as you can see when I put this on, we're not seeing my skin, we're seeing the new skin and that's fine for the photo. Don't forget your neck because the neck might be in the picture as well. We're just gonna go in with our first lot of concealer. We're not being too conservative here. We're just trying to cover up the under eye bag. I like to let it sit on the face. Leaving the concealer on the face allows it to settle, thicken, and that gives you the maximum amount of coverage. So while I'm letting that sit, I'm gonna get my cream bronzer again and apply it liberally to the forehead, cheeks, and chin. Then we're going to take a fluffy contour brush and start to blend this out. This is probably the most time consuming part of this entire tutorial. You just have to do it until it's sufficiently blended out. So I know what you're thinking, you're looking at my face and thinking, whoa, this bronzer is way too much. And yet it is just for walking around the street. But we're going to get a picture taken, particularly a passport picture, and that will not show up as much as it does here. So trust the process, you'll see when you see the pictures. So now we can finally blend out the concealer. Because now we're going to add a lighter shade of concealer and place it on the T-zone and underneath the eyes again and on the chin. Again, we're gonna leave that to set just a little bit. While we're waiting, we're just going to add a touch of blush on the high points of the cheek. We're going to blend out the forehead concealer and the chin concealer with a beauty blender like before. But for the under eyes, I'm gonna take a concealer brush. This is the Real Techniques 242 brush. It's really great because it can get directly into the inner corner and blend that out. I'm using a brush because I want a very bright under eye and the brush takes off less product. I'm gonna use a powder puff to set the face. No need to be conservative with the powder for this look. We just want everything to look nice and matte. Now I'm gonna take a beauty sponge, not a blender, something with a harder texture, less malleable. I'm just going to lightly bake under the eye. It means applying an extra layer of powder that you're not blending it in order to let the inside of your body warm it up and that's supposed to give you a much more seamless look. It's primarily a technique that's used for pictures because in real life it can look very artificial. While we're letting that sit, we're just gonna add some mascara. So we are gonna overline our lips. That generally doesn't look good in real life, but in pictures it looks fantastic. Now let's sweep this bake off. Gloss. So let's this is how the makeup looked in the photo booth and this is how the photos turned out. The quality of the passport photo booth photos has really improved since last year. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Also, please subscribe to my channel because I have some really fun videos coming up. I post every Friday. My videos are about makeup, fashion, beauty. So if you like all of that, please subscribe. Also click the bell icon so that you're notified when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Have a fantastic week and I will see you next Friday.